Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to make a saturation mask in Capture One using native Capture One tools. Um, what you use a saturation mask is, you know, wide and, and variable and everybody has different reasons why they may want one. I'm just going to show you how to make one. So check it out. You go to color editor. All right. We're going to go to advanced tab and we're going to use our little you know, a little eyedropper tool here, and we're going to click any color. It doesn't really matter because we're going to change all of the settings, but I usually pick like one of the saturated colors because that's kind of what I want to mask out. I want to make a mask that kind of favors the saturated colors and the mask fades away and blends out uh, to the less saturated colors, ultimately to the grays, right? So I'm going to choose a red. Again, it doesn't matter. Here's the little pie piece that I have here on the red. Now, the first thing that you do, if for some reason you don't have um, the selection on a very saturated color, you might see that dot that shows you what you clicked on closer to the desaturated area inside the circle. Just move the dot to the, you know, to the outer ring, which is the saturated side, if not, because we're going to move in this ring just a little bit. Well, it's not a ring yet, but it's about to be. Check this out. Take any one of the outside little handles here on this perimeter of the circle and go all the way around. Okay, now if you go all the way past the original point, oh, it'll flip. So go to that point and pull back just a bit. Now, this effectively is selecting the saturated areas mostly, regardless of hue, right? And then that, sat that mask, excuse me, blends away as it gets towards the middle. That is the lower saturation. Now, most of the time, I'll take the smoothness all the way up. You see how it blurs it, right? And then I can kind of move this ring in and out. This is mostly saturated colors. This is a little more, a little more into the desaturated colors. And of course you can go all the way where only the absolute low saturation is not selected. Here, we'll start right there. We can always imagine or envision this by clicking the color editor's function, view selected color range. We click that and you that's gray is outside of the range, right? So if I pull back, I can see I'm only getting the absolute most saturated colors. Right now you can pull in a little more and get more range if you want. Now, this shot, it seems to be pretty contrasting in the world of saturation. There's a lot of strong color and a lot of like black and gray, but on a, something a little broader, maybe a landscape or just something that has a, a broader range of saturation, this will be more obvious. But here, let's stop it right about, oh, just there. It doesn't entirely matter. Okay. Now we have a mask already running, right? On the color editor, we can change hue, saturation, and lightness. And that's fine. We can do that right now only on the saturated areas. We can change saturation. We can shift the hue of the saturated areas. And of course, we can lighten and darken the saturated areas. But we can use the saturation mask that we've just created in other functions. All we have to do is generate a real mask. That is a mask on the layers window here. Okay. So while we're on the color editor, the top right little flyaway menu, click it. Okay, we have create mask layer from selection. Now we only have one color selected here. Okay, that's this little red that we clicked on initially, which we then modified. If we had a bunch of others here, we would just select the one that we wanted and then come here, create mask layer from selection. Let it do its little process. Sometimes it takes a second, sometimes it takes a few seconds. It's done. Now we have a mask over here. We can name it whatever we want. I'm gonna call it sat mask. If I hit the letter M on this mask, or rather on this layer, I can see there's my sat mask. But because it's on a layer, any function in Capture One is now available to me. I can add contrast to the saturated areas. I can reduce contrast. I can increase the exposure of the saturated areas or decrease the exposure of the saturated areas. And of course, saturation itself can be modified directly. All right. But I can do anything I want, even, even the color grading tools like color balance. If for some reason you just want to grade and do some interesting, I don't know, just anything at all, on the saturated areas, you can, knowing that it's only affecting that area, okay? I'm not saying that the three-way grade is the best way to go, but point is any of these tools are available to you because it's simply now a layer with a mask, okay? Now, obviously that layer is permanent. So this mask that you're seeing is not really modifiable. You can copy and invert it to get everything that isn't saturated, that's an option, but it's permanent. So if you want to change the range of it, my recommendation is to go ahead and delete it come back here, increase the range, and then simply make it again, create mass layer from selection. And there we go. And now you can see it's a little broader. So it's not a flexible mass necessarily, but if you, in other words, you can't change it actively on the fly. Here you can, but you only get hue, saturation, and lightness. Once you create the mask, then you can use any other function. But anyway, 
that is just one way to get a saturated mask uh, into ca or in capture one natively in a way that makes sense. It's a very powerful way to do it that's flexible, like I said, if you want to use only the color editor, but you can also create the mask permanently on a layer and use any other tool in Capture One.